I have the power to control light, you will get darker. And now you will get lighter. Yes, it is complete. Hey, how's it going? Big Chef JC here, and I have decided to bestow upon the a trick of the trade. I'm going to show you how to lip stuff in a pan. And I'm going to show you how to practice it without screwing up whatever it is you're cooking. Because you're not going to be doing it with the stuff you're cooking. Um, why do stuff like that in a pan? Why risk it? Well, because it's cool. It creates fire. And it also mixes up your dish or flips an omelet, so on and so forth. So I'm going to show you how to do that, how to practice it and get it down. And then you can nail it whenever you're in front of people. And they'll be like, that guy or girl is awesome. And you will have 20,000 more awesome points in your bank account that you can spend on something. But I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's do this yo so what we're going to want to do first is get a deep bowl and this is going to be your practicing bowl and what you're going to do with this is you're going to want to get the motion down if you watch the knife video if you have it you should the locomotion thing is in play again and you're going to take your bowl and just start doing that you know, work it out a little bit. Just get used to the motion. Oh yeah, you're gonna wanna fill your bowl with something, like some hard candy. So I have here some lovely starbursts because when they fall on the floor, it's not gonna matter. I can pick them up, put them back in the bowl, and it's all good. Um, so that's why people don't try this. That's why people don't try to flip food in the pan because if you have an omelet and you've been working on it all morning and you try to flip it, then guess what? Your whole morning shot. So we're going to take some hard candies in a bowl and you're going to just start like so. All right. You're going to take them and just start shifting them back and forth. All right. Get used to them being uh, uh, the motion of them just kind of shifting back and forth. All right. And now also take them and start to swirl it around, okay? Get it up as high on the sides of the bowl as you can. As much as you can, you know, and just basically get used to this. It doesn't take a whole lot of practice. Um, you know, you could do this for a solid two minutes and really get it down, all right? Now, the goal with this is, you see there's some candies up here at the front, like these red ones. And when you start flipping this stuff, you're going to just want to do little ones. Don't come out of the bowl. Don't, um, you know, be all dramatic with it. You're just going to want to have to, like, kind of mix the candy around. All right? So you have those red ones up there at first. And your goal is to get the ones up front back here. Okay? So start shifting that and just flip it. See, now those are the two ones that were up front. Now this pink one and this red one are up front. Right? So, my goal is to get those in the back. Boom. Now, that's the pink one, and that's the red one. So, that's what, how you're going to practice. You're going to just try to get the stuff that's up front, you know, green one right there, flip it. Now, it's back there. Cool? So, that's how you practice. Now, when you start practicing with two hands, and you get that down, you feel comfortable, start doing it with one, Okay? Start getting that one motion down. Swirling, flipping. Swirling, flipping. Swirling, flipping. And when you've done that enough, and you feel confident enough, then guess what? You have graduated, and it's on to the extreme challenge round, because that's right, we're going to a straight-up pan. Now, to get used to it, once again, don't, don't, please, for the love of all things holy, Use a hot pan when you're doing this. Um, practicing, that is. And to get it back down, you can start taking two hands and just doing the same thing that you did with that pan or that bowl and just start swirling around. And then this is a lot more shallow. 
so it's a lot less forgiving. So those little flips could end up outside. If you do, it's okay. You can end up outside the pain, all right, because it's just starburst, and you can treat yourself and eat one when you flip it. Is that cool? All right. So you're going to start taking that, shifting it back and forth once again, and then a little flip, okay? And then just practice like that. And basically, that's all it is. That's it, is just getting that motion down. When you feel comfortable enough, then you can take something like rice, and you can put that in the pan. And that's a little bit more dangerous. So it's got a little bit more risk to it. And rice could end up all over the floor. It's cool. If you don't have a broom, I'm sure somebody has something. So basically, that's it. That's how you practice. It's just take a bowl or a pan, when you feel comfortable, start to toss that stuff uh, in the bowl or a pan, one hand or two. When you start getting good, you do one hand and just start doing that motion. And once you get that down, try it on something simple, like sauteed onions or garlic or peppers, uh, something simple in a pan like that while it's on the stove. Then I'm going to show you next how to practice flipping a single thing like an omelet. Let's do this. You. All right, so I'm going to show you now how to flip something that's single, like an omelet or a pancake or something like that. You know, I have what I have here is a coaster, and this coaster is wrapped in paper towel for audio purposes because it otherwise would be very, very loud. So you can do something like that, like a coaster or a paper plate or something, something that has some weight. So once you get that down, you're going to do the same thing. Start swirling it around, all right? It's sizzling, it's hot, everybody's hungry for breakfast, and you're freaking out, and you're like, I can do this, and boom, you just did it, all right? You will, with practice. All you have to do is try that over and over and over again. Practice that little coaster or paper plate, anything that's singular and round that has some weight to it that'll easily flip. Just practice like that. Okay, and you can get good at that. It really doesn't take a whole lot of effort, and um, you can get it down. So that's all flipping all the time, and I'll see you before we go. Thanks. Burp. Hey, so what we've shown you is how to flip some stuff in a pan. Um, all it takes is practice. You can do it, you know, anytime you want to just practice a little bit, get good at it. Um, once again, that's all it is. It's just practicing, doing it over and over and over and over and over again. At some point, you'll be awesome at it. I guarantee you, and I believe in your skills. Um, you can find us at spiritoftaste.blogspot.com, and then the rest of these social media sites right here, uh, we're also at uh, Spirit of Taste. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoy the blog. I will see you guys very, very soon. Have a good day.